Pablo Picasso was a towering figure in the world of modern art, a visionary whose bold, innovative work forever changed the course of art history. He pushed the boundaries of art and challenged conventional ideas about form, color, and representation. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the life, work, and enduring legacy of one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881, in the southern Spanish city of Malaga. He was the first child of José Ruiz Blasco, an art teacher, and Maria Picasso and Lopez. Picasso's family was middle class, and he grew up in a relatively stable and supportive environment. Picasso's father was a strong influence on his early artistic development. Jose Ruiz Blasco art drawing and painting at a local art school, and he began giving his son lessons when he was just seven years old. By the time Picasso was a teenager, he had surpassed his father's abilities and was creating his own unique style of art. Picasso's childhood was also marked by several significant events that had a lasting impact on his life and work. In 1891, his younger sister Conchita died of diphtheria, which had a profound effect on him. Later, in 1895, the family moved to Barcelona, where he studied classical techniques and subjects. He attended the School of Fine Arts in Barcelona, where he studied with some of the leading artists of the day. He was particularly interested in the works of El Greco and Francisco Zurbaran to Spanish Baroque painters. He also became interested in the art of the ancient Greeks and Romans, which would later influence his work. In 1900, Picasso moved to Paris, which was then the center of the art world. There, he was exposed to a wide range of artistic styles and movements, including post-impressionism and symbolism. He also began frequenting the city's cafes and salons where he met other artists and intellectuals. Blue Period is one of the most famous and distinctive facies of Picasso's artistic career. It is characterized by a predominantly blue color palette, which gives the works a melancholic and somber quality. One of the primary themes of the Blue Period is human suffering and despair. Many of the works from this period depict marginalized and impoverished people such as beggars, prostitutes, and circus performers. The figures in these works are often depicted with gaunt, skeletal features and expressions of sadness or despair. Another prominent theme of the Blue Period is isolation and loneliness. Many of the figures in these works are depicted alone, often in barren or desolate landscapes. The works evoke a sense of isolation and despair which is further emphasized by the use of the blue color palette. Despite the somber tone of the blue period, there is also a sense of compassion and empathy in many of the works. Picasso was known to have a strong social conscience, and his works often reflect his concern for the plight of the disadvantaged and marginalized members of society. Two of the most famous works from Picasso's Blue Period are La Vie and The Old Guitarist. Both of these works are powerful examples of the emotional and expressive style that characterized the Blue Period. La Vie, which was completed in 1903, is a large-scale painting that depicts a complex and emotionally charged scene. The figures in the painting are depicted with a degree of realism and detail that is characteristic of Picasso's work during this period. One of the most striking features of La Vie is its use of color. The painting is dominated by shades of blue and green, which give it a somber and melancholic quality. The figures in the painting are also depicted with elongated, angular features which heightens the emotional intensity of the work. The Old Guitarist is another powerful example of Picasso's Blue Period style. The painting depicts an old, blind musician sitting alone with his guitar, 
The figure is depicted with gaunt, skeletal features, which emphasize his poverty and isolation. The painting is dominated by a blue color palette, which gives it a melancholic and somber quality. The painting has a powerful emotional impact, evoking a sense of loneliness and despair. The Rose Period is another important phase in Picasso's artistic development. The Rose Period is characterized by a shift away from the somber tones and emotional intensity of the Blue Period towards a brighter, more cheerful palette. The Rose Period is named for the predominant use of paint and other warm colors in many of the works from this period. The works from the Rose Period are characterized by a lighter, more whimsical style, with subjects that are often playful and lighthearted. One of the primary themes of the Rose Period is the circus. Many of the works from this period depict circus performers, such as acrobats, clowns, and harlequins. These figures are often depicted in bright, bold colors and with a sense of joy and exuberance. Another prominent theme of the Rose Period is the relationship between men and women. Many of the works from this period depict scenes of courtship, flirtation, and romance. These works often have a dreamlike quality, with figures that seem to float or dance through the air. Family of Salt and Banks, completed in 1905, is a large-scale painting that depicts a group of circus performers, including a young girl, a woman, and several men. The figures in the painting are depicted with a degree of realism and detail, but they are also stylized and exaggerated in ways that give the painting a dreamlike quality. The painting is dominated by warm, pink tones, which give it a sense of warmth and intimacy. The painting has a melancholic quality, with the figures looking downcast and pensive. Boy Leading a Horse completed in 1906, is another iconic work from the Rose Period. The painting depicts a young boy leading a hearse through a desolate landscape. The figures in the painting are depicted with elongated, exaggerated features, which give them a sense of other world lines. The boy in the painting is depicted with a sense of melancholy and isolation, which is emphasized by his posture and the desolate landscape around him. These paintings are characterized by their expressive use of color, stylized figures, and dreamlike quality, and they are a testament to Picasso's ability to capture a range of emotional states through his art. Picasso's African influence period began in 1907 and lasted until around 1909. During this time, Picasso was heavily influenced by African art and culture particularly the masks and sculptures of sub-Saharan Africa. The African influence period is characterized by a bold, simplified style, with a focus on geometric shapes and stylized forms. The works from this period often have a primitive or tribal quality, with figures that are heavily abstracted and distorted. One of the primary themes of the African influence period is the depiction of human suffering and anguish. Many of the works from this period depict figures that are in distress, such as prostitutes, beggars, and prisoners. These figures are often depicted with exaggerated, angular features that emphasize their emotional turmoil. Another key theme of the African influence period is the concept of primitivism. Picasso was interested in the idea of primitive cultures as a source of creative inspiration, and he sought to incorporate elements of African art and culture into his own work. This interest in primitivism is reflected in the simplified, stylized forms and bold use of color that characterize the works from this period. Les Demoiselles Avignon is perhaps the, the most famous and iconic work from Picasso's African influence period. Completed in 1907, the painting depicts a group of five nude female figures in a brothel in the red light district of Barcelona. 
The figures in the painting are depicted with a bold, simplified style that emphasizes their angular, geometric forms. The faces of the figures are distorted and mask-like, with sharp, jagged features that convey a sense of emotional intensity and psychological turmoil. One of the most striking aspects of Les Demoiselles' Avignon is its use of color. The painting is dominated by warm, earthy tones, with splashes of bright blue and green that add a sense of dynamism and energy to the composition. It is a powerful example of Picasso's ability to synthesize and transform a range of artistic traditions and influences into a singular, groundbreaking style. Cubism Picasso was one of the most important figures in the development of Cubism, and his work was instrumental in defining the movement. In his Cubist works, Picasso broke down objects into their basic geometric forms, such as cones, cylinders, and spheres, and depicted them from multiple viewpoints at once. This created a sense of depth and volume on the flat surface of the canvas and also allowed Picasso to explore the relationship between form and space in new and exciting ways. One of the key features of Picasso's Cubist style was his use of collage and assemblage. He often incorporated found objects, such as newspaper clippings, wallpaper, and sheet music into his paintings creating a layered and complex surface that reflected the fragmentation and dislocation of modern life. Another important aspect of Picasso's Cubist style was his use of color. While his early Cubist works were characterized by a muted, monochromatic palette, he later began to experiment with brighter, more vibrant colors, which added a sense of energy and dynamism to his compositions in the later stages of his career. Picasso continued to experiment with a variety of styles and approaches, and his work became increasingly diverse and complex. Two of the most notable periods from this time are Surrealism and Neoclassicism. Picasso's Surrealist works often feature dreamlike imagery, distorted forms, and unexpected juxtapositions of objects. His later works are often characterized by a sense of playfulness and experimentation, as well as a continued interest in the relationship between form and space. Despite his advancing age, Picasso remained an active and influential artist until his death in 1973, leaving behind a vast and diverse body of work that continues to inspire and captivate viewers today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more amazing content.